Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at something called electron tomography, a small little detail here that helps us understand a little bit about how new techniques can help us with understanding new things about really small things in biology. So this process, electron tomography, is kind of just like a, an extension of transmission electron microscopy, where you're kind of doing a miniature MRI, not, not quite, but like a miniature MRI for really small structures, especially when we're looking at mitochondria, which are about the size of bacteria and are in all of our eukaryotic cells. So the technique basically works by taking pictures at different angles and then constructing them together to create a three-dimensional picture. And it's nice because if you take this picture, if you construct these images over a period of time, you can actually see uh, some new things happening. So it's no longer a kind of static image. So you get to see how changes are happening. And because of this technique, um, we're we've been able to figure out that the previously thought kind of static structure of the inside of mitochondria with its Christi and its uh, intermembrane space and the foldings inside, it doesn't actually stay constant. It actually changes uh, a lot. And people are proposing that one of the reasons for the surface area inside changing could be to help you know, improve ATP synthesis efficiency. So if you've studied some of the respiration, then you know you've got glycolysis going on in the cytoplasm, and then the link reaction brings things into the matrix. Then you've got the Krebs cycle also happening in the matrix. And then the very last step is where you try to make a lot of ATP molecules using the intermembrane the inner mitochondrial membrane and the intermembrane space is going to allow you to build up hydrogen ions in order to produce ATP. So it turns out that surface area inside doesn't stay constant. It seems to be dynamic and shifting all the time. And that was only revealed through using this technique. So the idea here, a uh, big picture, is that new techniques can lead to new discoveries. And so we've figured out some pretty cool stuff about the inside of a mitochondria as a result of this process and procedure called electron tomography. Look at these beautiful images. So nice.